Welcome back to Energy Group's Quick Tips video series. In today's video, we will talk about the Group Bomb. In the last video, we talked about variant bombs, and in order to do this, we used a business scenario about a bike company which we had called Super Awesome Bikes. In the last video, we said that the bike company had three bike models the Mountaineer, the mountain bike, the Wayfarer, a road bike, and finally a kid's bike called the Slowpoke. Now let's keep on with that scenario and pretend that the Wayfarer, the road bike, has become incredibly popular in the latest months. Given the rise in budget and the demand for the bike, the company decides to open up a new plant, which they will call ELO2, and in which they will be manufacturing exclusively Wayfarer bikes. Now as you can guess, in SAP that would be a situation where the components for the Wayfarer would have to be extended to the new plant and a bomb would have to exist for the material and plant combination as well. If the person responsible of the bombs creates a new bomb for every new plant and material combination, it could really become complicated, for example if a new component should ever need to be changed. That's because a bomb for every plant and material combination would have to be individually maintained afterwards. Instead of copying the existing bomb for the Wayfarer in plant ELO1 to plant ELO2, it would be much wiser to simply create a new plant assignment to the new plant. This can be done in SAP. It creates a group bomb and maintaining that bomb would change it for all assigned plants at once. In the last article, we saw that the variant bomb, or bomb group, is useful when producing several variants of a material for which many components are shared. The group bomb of a material, however, is useful when producing a material with the exact same components in different plants. In order to create a group bomb, which is in fact assigning a bomb to other plants, transaction CSO7 to create plant assignment is to be used. Note that you can also change bomb plant assignments using CSO8 and you can display them using CSO9. The reason why we use CSO7 instead of CSO1 is that no new copy of the bomb has to be created. Instead, we are simply assigning the same bomb and all of its components to another plant. Returning to the super awesome bike scenario, let's take care of the bomb maintenance in order to be able to manufacture the Wayfarer in the newly built plant. Creating a new plant assignment is as simple as accessing transaction CSO7, entering the material plant and usage, and finding the plant that you want to assign it to. In this case, we are assigning the Wayfarer bomb in plant ELO1 with bomb usage 3, and the new assignment is done to plant ELO2. As explained earlier, the group bomb and variant bomb serve different purposes. That does not mean, however, that group bombs and variant bombs don't mix. In my last article, using the Super Awesome Bike scenario, we created a variant bomb which was shared among three bike models. This variant bomb had been created for plant ELO1. We have just taken care of assigning the bomb for the Wayfarer in plant ELO1 to plant ELO2. In doing so, we now have a bomb that is both a variant bomb and a group bomb. Looking at the bomb assignments via CSO9, we see that this is a variant bomb because it is being shared by the Mountaineer, Slowpoke and Wayfarer bike in plant ELO1. However, it's also a group bomb because the bomb is being used for the Wayfarer in plant ELO1 and ELO2. Following this two-part blog series, you can probably see that there is more to build of materials than just a single material, plant and usage combination. Variant bombs can be created to provide flexibility and ease of maintenance when producing similar product variants, while group bombs are used to have a bomb tied to more than one plant with no additional bomb creation. By using these tools on their own or together, you can reduce the clutter in your data and save time in your bomb maintenance. Well, that's it for today. If you're looking for additional information or tips, visit our company website. And be sure to check out our blog at blog.energygroup.com.